click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to see what is exactly plasma arc welding. So basically in plasma arc welding, a plasma shield is provided along with your additional gases. So how it is done, we'll be seeing in this video. So in plasma arc welding, as it is shown in this diagram, we can see there is a plasma arc. Along with that, there is shielding gases. So the arc is stuck between your plasma arc as well as your anode or your plasma arc as your workpiece. And plasma is nothing but your gas with positive ions. So this is a diagram of a plasma arc welding setup. Your plasma arc is coming from between. In the side, your shielding gas is there. It goes to your exact weld pole where the welding can be done. And an additional filler metal is used for just enhancing the welding process. Filler metal may be used or it may not be used. It is a metal which is used to enhance the welding or it can add to the welding. It should have a lower melting point. So what happens in plasma arc welding? Your arc which is in ionized form, it comes with a very high speed to your exact weld place. So the welding takes place due to electrical energy, also the arc which is ionized. So ionized energy and electrical energy. This is the two parts which are used for welding the purpose. The main objective of plasma arc welding is the gas is in a controlled manner, ionized form and also a tungsten electrode is used to enhance the welding. So in plasma arc welding, there are two modes. One is transferred, second is non-transferred. In transferred mode, the arc is stuck between electrode and workpiece, while in non-transferred mode, arc is stuck between the electrode and your water cool. So in this way, stucking of the arc is done both transferred way and non-transferred way. So these are the two diagrams in which stucking of the arc is shown whether in transfer type or in non-transfer type. So I'll talk about the equipments which are used in plasma arc welding. Number one is your power supply, exact DC power supply, how much is required. Then heat generator and third equipment is your plasma torch. The next major element is your shielding gases. The first shielding gas is argon. Next can be argon and helium and third can be argon as well as hydrogen. So these shielding gases are provided as a coating or as a shielding between or outside your exact plasma gas. This mixture of gases provide high energy to your nature and your welding takes place. There are some advantages of plasma arc welding. It is fast. It provides clean welding and less skilled labor are used for plasma arc welding as the whole arrangement is there inside the labor should just know how to operate it that's it there are also some disadvantages of plasma arc welding it cannot weld more than 25 mm size of a material also it is costly and there are many other disadvantages so along with advantages and disadvantages, there are some applications like food industries, cryogenics or in shipbuilding. These are some basic applications where plasma arc welding is used. It is also used in other fields, but these are some basic examples. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and do subscribe our channel Ikeda.